another beautiful day. We've been so lucky with the weather. But uh, on a serious note, on a serious note, uh, this morning I may or may not have had a wank. I can't confirm or deny. But I'm just gonna leave that hanging there. Happy goddamn Saturday. Happy goddamn Saturday. You are a nice brother. Just went down to Greg's there. And we had an El Fresco lunch. And then he gave me a can of ice cold pop and a, a nice guy. You're a good brother. I don't care what everyone says about you. You're not as much of a cunt as everyone thinks. When it rains for Greg, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Uh, I think I'll help him. I think I'll go and help him. Do him a solid. You hear Paul? Hold on. Flying it so yeah, for some man. Look at this. Look at these boys. <laughs> My god, they are sexy, man. Jack, you are incredibly sexy. Fuck off, David. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the sexiest Illuminati member I know. What? I'm proud to be related to you. They're fine beasts. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. I love a cup of coffee. You're a good woman. Are you on Lord? I think you're having a massive shy in your nappy. While I'm holding you. Aren't you? Look, there's a spider on you. Yeah, uh, fucking, fucking suits these old people to be social distancing when this crack's going on, doesn't it? Sick. Wish we were going now. That's what I wish. No, that's not good enough. It's not even my fucking turn. It's the fucking thing. Stacking timber, stacking turf. I never stopped fucking stacking. I remember when I was a young boy and I had no hair in my ball sack. I decided I was never going to touch turf again for the rest of my life. I was fair wrong. I was fair fucking wrong. Bastard turf. Hey, you fucking hardy. Am I hardy? Well, I don't know. You tell me. I don't even flinch. Look at that. I don't care. Ow, that really hurt. Go. That is behind you, Whoa, that was a super move. Oh, parkour! Oh, parkour! <laughs> parkour! Special move. Do a special move. Excellent. No! <laughs> hey, we're going to bed now. Come on. I need my coat. You don't get... That's not how this works. Yeah, look at Vicky. Drinking loads of wine. At it again. And drinking just one or two. Do you know, I don't mind her having a few drinks if it uh, loosens her up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, for people that are wondering, the first song today was Highlight Tribe Free Tibet. And the second one was Ye Wolf Till It's Gone. So, yeah, sorry, I should put up the names of the songs. My bad, I'll try that from now on. Well, that was climbing a half, a half six on a Sunday morning. This is the leash side of the Sleeve Loom bike trail. So, I'm looking forward to going down here. There I was thinking the first climb was hard, that second one was horrendous. But, you know, the payoff is I'm at the top of the hill now and I get to. Look at a site that we done, maybe, maybe four, no, five clearfell sites ago. Look, it's already mounded and replanted. A few years, it'll be like that. Another couple of years, then it'll be like that. And then another 20 years later, it'll be like that. And that, my friends, is sustainable forest management. <sighs> that was great fun. I'm all set to go home. I have to wash it when I get home. It would have been better crack if I had had someone with me, you know, but 
My nephew Sean was supposed to come, but he, he said his arse was too sore from fisting himself last night. Prick. Teach that how to drive and give him a career and just let you down. Let me down. Tired? Can they drink? Bill's gone in. She got too warm. Are you very warm? No? You're going well. She's around here three hours. Just me and Greg today. If you were ever in doubt who the real men are in this organisation, don't be worrying about that anymore. I think we've answered that question on many an occasion. If we were a military organisation, G and G, and me and Greg would be the Special Forces, the Navy SEALs. It's just facts. Facts are facts. You done it? You drove over your grease gun? I did. Look, you know what? I'm delayed with that revolver. Oh, it's a shite grease gun. Use your fucking electric one. It's broke then. How'd you break it? It broke itself. It wore out. Well, it's still a shite grease gun. They're a shite grease gun. You better than that. I don't know. I don't know that one. That one's up in the air now, Greg. That one. <laughs> Useless. Useless. Sexy legs. Beautiful man. This has become a little bit of a joke now. Greg's gone home. Useless. I know, he came out walking, stamping his feet and swinging his big fucking arms. And they opened the door and he says, uh, What's wrong with you? I'm going home. Pissed off. I said, Why, Greg? What's up? What's up with you? Tell, tell your big little brother David. He said, There's stones all over the butts of the trees. Some ground, stony. And when the trees grow, they drag the stones up with them and when you cut the butts low it does in your chains and I just said hey Greg why don't you just keep the butts up high that's what everyone else does he says can't I can't bring myself to do it going home six chains used today I've only 30 ton cut I'm going to sharpen chains for the whole week I'm not using new chains here I'm going to just sharpen chains all day is that fair play to you very noble of you you never know, Quilcha, after making a hundred million profit this year, might even send you an extra bonus. I just couldn't be listening to that roaring its head off while it filled with diesel. Oh, wearing a black t-shirt was a horrible idea today. It's some weather. Guys. Here's what we mean about stones. Look, there's little rocks everywhere. Behind that, there's one. They're all going up the side of the tree. Look, stones. Stones, stones, it's just impossible. Mind your chains if you're cutting the wood slow, pain in the arse. That hill got the better of him. Tired? Any chance getting on? I instantly regret this. Yeah. <laughs> Never miss leg work day. Leg work day. The only thing that's driving me forward is your tight little arse. Look at these fucking dickheads. I won't be doing this. Are they well? No. no. <laughs> You do it, fucking all night long. <sighs> Just can't relax. Absolutely delighted for the farmers. Got a little bit of rain last night. Just enough to keep the dust down. She 
couldn't ask for more, could you? The sun is spitting the trees already and it's only half seven. Some weather. Some weather! That's more of this bullshit now. Dickheads parked in my way. Maybe if they got to work earlier in the morning. It's not from all the exercise last night, it's my back from carrying these fucking bastards! Oh lads, this, this extraction lane is rough, rough. I'm trying to avoid the big butts and stuff like that. I'm going through all the furrows. Yeah. You have to have your wits about you. You'll break yourself and the machine up in shite. I meant to say yesterday I listened to Kevin Hart's new book, The Decision. It's a good book! I really enjoyed it. I listened to him on Joe Rogan last week and he is one motivated motherfucker. But, uh, yeah, it's only five and a half hours long, so it's easy to get through. The last few books that I had downloaded were on, were heavy, about the 25, 30 hour mark. And the content was, uh, so I'd have to re-listen to chapters and my small little brain. And, uh, yeah, I was also having nightmares and stuff, so I had to lighten the load of what was going inside my fragile little mind for a while. Yeah, uh, easy to listen to. He narrates it. He's funny as fuck. Oh, enough little loads of bank. End up with big amounts of bank. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Oh, jeez, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I did not mean for you to see that. When Greg even sees me, within an ass's roar of him. Just goes faster, does longer hours. He's just he's a pain in the hole, that's what he's. Oh, what line am I on? What line am I on, Greg? The line right beside you. The line right beside you. Come on. <laughs> oh, makes me fucking happy. Makes me so fucking happy. Bye Greg. Bye Greg. Oh yeah, and I've gone through a few of my messages there and I'm sorry that so many people are frustrated about my hair for the last while. Um, I meant to address it, so I'll address it now. Uh, there's lockdown and uh, it's actually suiting me man because I couldn't give a fuck about my hair. Not if I was tickling me balls sack when I done that would I give a shite. Not even, not even a hairy shite. Not, not two fucks would I give. So I'm sorry if my hair offends you, but you know, get over it. This guy, I am pulling it out of the fire, boys. I am pulling it out of the fire. Trying to go after the toe ye and not a fucking sinner around the place. Like, where's young Greg? Where is young Greg now? Playing the PlayStation. Yeah, playing the PlayStation. It's all left down to the big daddy. The big dog. The big D dog. <laughs> Did you ever drive a lorry, David? By God, I did. I was fucking some man. I was so good at driving lorries, I can reverse vans at fucking flat out speed, 30, 40 miles an hour, and not even flinch. That's how good a driver I am. I hope no one comes up behind me or I'll ram him off the road and I'll kill him stone dead, and I won't even know I done it until I see him out the front. Listen to the rubbish I come home to her listening to. Bluetooth mode. Perry. I know I listen to a lot of shit, but Vicky's chasing music. Oh no no no.